Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to set up a campaign in POF. So, let's get started. Step 1. Pick your offer. Now when I'm selecting an offer, there are a few things that I keep in mind. It's the network EPC, the offer's payout, the targets that the advertiser is looking for, the layout of the offer page, when the conversion pixel fires, and the advertisement guidelines and restrictions for the offer. So, after looking around, I found this offer. Now although we don't see a network EPC, the payout here is 435, which is something we can work with. In terms of the desired traffic, they're looking for males 25 plus from various countries. In terms of the restrictions, we see here that we can't bid on branded terms, uh, we can only promote ages 25 and older, no incentive, and some other various things that we can include in our ads. Now because the description doesn't mention when the conversion occurs, I just quickly spoke with my account manager to find out the conversion pixel fires after the second page, which is going to help me later on when I create a landing page. And after looking at the offer page, it seems like this is something that we can run on POI. Ready for step two. Now, when you're deciding on which angle you'd like to go with, you need to do a little bit of research to find out how you can make that offer more enticing to whoever you're targeting. Now, since this offer is a BBW site for males 25 years of age and older, whenever I'm thinking about creating an angle for an offer, the first people I go to are my friends. If that option isn't available to you, then I would suggest simply going online and searching for blogs or online communities that might be interested in your offer. This is usually a great way to get some ideas on image and body copy that, can, that you can end up using in your landing page and in your ads. So for this offer, I probably just Google search BBWs, big beautiful women, full figured women, and just look through all of the results that would pop up. This is always a great way to get inside the mind of your target demographic. Once I've gathered enough information to find an angle to work with on my offer, I'm ready to move on to my third step, which is creating the ad. Now, whenever I'm creating an ad, I always keep in mind the basic concepts of marketing. And that means putting together image and body copy that really belongs together, that's congruent, and finding a way to design the ad so that it pops up at the user and grabs your attention. So for this offer, I designed this app. Using this type of layout, I would split test with 10 images and two headlines, giving me 20 creatives to use uh, for my first inject for this campaign. Once I've gathered all of my ads, I move on to my fourth step, which is creating my lander. Now for this particular offer, I actually wanted to create a landing page that would look really similar to the offer page. So using Dreamweaver and Photoshop, I just created a real quick lander like this. A lander like this is usually used to merely engage the user so that they go on to fill out the offer and fire that conversion pixel. Once I have my lander and creatives all gathered, I'm ready to move on to the next step, which is setting up my tracking. Now proper tracking is the most crucial component in creating a successful campaign. Prosper and CPB Lab are the most widely used and popular tracking platforms used today. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up tracking with Prosper's platform in P202. Now the first thing I always grab whenever I'm setting up a new offer is the global tracking pixel in Prosper. This allows Prosper to communicate with whatever network you're running on and automatically updates your con You can place this offer by offer or you can ask your account manager to place your tracking pixel on an account level. Next, I set up the campaign name. Now the crucial part of this step is inserting your campaign name and the offer URL that you got from the traffic network. Now as outlined in Tom's 7 day POF guide, Tom and I use a system of symbols, letters, and numbers to label and organize our campaign systematically. I encourage you to use your own system so that you can easily understand and organize all of your campaign information. Either way, I'm simply going to paste in a campaign name uh, that I had previously created. 
And then I'm going to insert the tracking link that I got from my traffic network into the affiliate URL. Now the final step when setting up your affiliate URL is inserting one of these placeholders here, in particular the sub ID placeholder after the sub ID variable in your link. Now the most important thing to remember when placing a tracking link is to add the proper placeholder so that Prosper can grab the sub IDs and track your information properly. To do this, you simply need to click on this sub ID button and the link will be appended for you. Once you have your hit path all set up, you can just adjust the payout and hit add. Next, you want to set up the information for your landing pages. So just click over here in landing page. Then here you're going to set up the affiliate network that you named before, as well as the campaign name that we just named, as well as the campaign that we just created. Now we're just going to add a nickname to this particular landing page. So you want to use something simple. So for this, I'm just going to put something like BBW, uh, today's date, and May 1. Now whenever I want to check the CTR or conversion rate of this particular landing page, I just need to go to the Analyze tab and search for this LP nickname. Next, you want to insert the URL of the landing page you're sending the person to after they click on your ad. So I'm simply going to paste in the URL and click Add. Next, we want to go to the Get LP Code tab. Here we're just going to create a simple landing page, so we'll click there. And then we're going to select our information that we just entered. Once we have all of our information put in, we can click on Generate Tracking Link. Now this is going to give us two things. First, it's going to give us an inbound JavaScript landing page code. This particular code is actually going to go into the body tag of our landing page that we just created. So to do that, I'm just going to copy the text. And then I'm going to pull up the lander that I just created. So up here, I'm just going to go to split and scroll down to the bottom and right above the body tag, I'm going to insert that script. Next, we need to insert the code for our redirect. So we're just going to go back to Prosper and select everything in this box. Now we're just going to create a new PHP file that we're going to save as redirect. So for that, I'm just going to open up a new file, paste in the information, and save it as a redirect. We'll just call this redirect.php. We'll hit save, and there we go. And now we have our tracking set up. One last thing we have to do before we leave Prosper is grab a tracking link that we're going to use to send the user to our landing page. So to do that, we're going to go back into Prosper and scroll up over to our Get Links tab. Here again, we're just going to set up all the information that we just created. Now that we've got all our information selected, we're just going to double check to make sure the direct link is set up. For max CPC, we'll just put $0.05. Cents. And then we can insert some variables that we can use to pass through information from POF. And those variables are going to be age, gender, and state. Now if you're not entirely sure how to use these uh, variables and pass through those tokens for your landing page, please refer to our previous post on creating dynamic landing pages. Everything should be spelled out for you there. Now that we have all of our variables put in, all of our right information gathered, we can click on Generate Tracking Link. Now that we've got our tracking link, I'm simply going to copy it and save that for later. Now that we have our tracking all set up, we can move on to step six, setting up everything in POF. Now I realize a lot of people use an automated campaign uploader for Plenty of Fish. 
But for this tutorial, I wanted to take you through a step-by-step -step process in how to manually upload your images and campaigns. So first, you want to click on Create New Campaign, and you will be brought to this page. Now, since we are only going to be dealing with 310s and small ads for this particular tutorial, we're just going to click on Small Ads. For this step, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that tracking link that I just grabbed from Prosper. Next, I'm going to name the campaign. Now, I'm going to use the same method that I used when I was naming my campaign in Prosper so that everything matches up nice and neatly. After I've named the campaign, I can move on to things like setting the bid for my campaign, the frequency cap, and the max daily spend. Now that we've got the spending out of the way, we can select our targeting. So for this particular offer, the advertiser is looking for 25 plus males interested in BBW women. So first, we'll select the gender. Then we're going to select the age. Now I could do 25 plus, but since that would give me such a wide range of individuals, I'm just going to select a smaller group, 25, 26, and 27 year olds. Then I'll hit add target. And then we'll select the country. Since this is in the US, we'll click United States and hit OK. Now a recent feature that POF added was uh, the sexual orientation. So I'm also going to go down to looking for and click on female. This way I'm making sure that my ads aren't being sent to a group of individuals who want nothing to do with women. And since the lander I just created is really only browser friendly, I'm also going to take out the mobile options for the browser type. Click on Android and iPhone and click on is not equal to. And that's all I'm really going to select for my targeting. Next, we can add our creatives. So first I'm going to choose the type of creative I want. For this tutorial, I'm using a 310 by 110 banner. So in creative type, I'm just going to click small banner. And then in creative name, I'll create something like love curves, matching the headline of my 310 banner. And the last thing I want to do is make sure that my keyword is set up for this particular ad. Now, to properly keep track of all of your creatives, you want to make sure that each unique creative gets a unique keyword. Otherwise, when trying to track data on Prosper's platform, it's going to be really hard to determine whether or not an ad was profitable. So come up with your own system and ensuring that each creative has its own unique keyword. After we've edited our click-through URL, we can hit create campaign and wait for our ads to get approved. Now that we've created our campaign, we can move on to the last and final step. And that simply is to optimize. With our ads approved, we can now sit back and gather data. Here you can either relax and read a book, check out a movie, or work on a separate campaign. The important thing here is to let your ads get delivered and just gather the data. Any questions regarding this process can be answered in great detail in Tom's 7 Day POF Guide. Well, that's a basic walkthrough of how I set up my campaign. If you have any questions on the video, please feel free to comment down in the section below and keep an eye out for upcoming posts from us here at iPixel. Thank you for watching and take care.